Welcome to this week's W2O 11 Weather Impact. I'm meteorologist Matt Willoughby, and this week we are breaking down all things fall leaves and why exactly do those trees lose their leaves in the autumn and winter time. So this all starts with those leaves likely uh, getting to peak color. So right now, uh, really this week, we have seen at peak colors within a week, two weeks, even three weeks will be past peak, and that's when you really start to see that transition from past peak colors to those leaves falling off those trees. So when we talk about why do the leaves fall from the trees, but it all has to do with those leaves receiving less sunlight and a result of a declining leaf life out there as we go throughout the next couple of weeks. And also cooler temperatures as we go more and more further into the year, we start to see those cooler temperatures likely averages into the 50s, 40s, and even 30s by December, and also allow those trees to at least survive through those winter months. So when you don't have those leaves to worry about, really those trees can stay alive through just the branches and the tree life within the roots that really keep that tree alive. So when we talk about how those leaves likely uh, stay alive and how much leaves are we really talking on each tree? Well, about 200,000 leaves or uh, the average on an oak, at least um, average on a ma major in a minor oak tree and likely a mature oak tree. But when we talk about how much leaves really develop, well, about 360 dry leaves that is, is about one pound, but you total that up a little bit more. Well, one tree totaling could likely total up to about 550 pounds of leaf with a mature oak tree. Well, you break that down even more, we have add some rain to it. Well, that's when we really start to see some heavier leaves out there. When you add wet leaves to it, likely could multiply that by four times. So really could see about some leaves that really could be about a ton or likely a thousands of pounds that could be heavier when they are in fact wet. So when we talk about why trees lose their leaves, well, trees actually spend less energy through the harsh winters. So that's how they're able to stay alive. That's how they're able to at least survive through the harsh cold conditions and also that snow. And also it preserves moisture within the trunk to keep it from dying. So without the leaves, really don't have to worry about it staying alive because it doesn't necessarily need those leaves during the winter months. And also allows wind to blow through the branches, putting less strain on their trees if it did have leaves. Now, of course, the more common one of it is shorter days and cold Cooler temperatures is why we do in fact lose their that leaves. So this is kind of the basic definition of it. As winter approaches, that's when we start to see those cooler temperatures and likely those shorter days with shorter daylight, which causes likely those leaves to fall off the tree. Now we talk about a life cycle of trees. Really, you of course typically don't see any leaves in certain trees when during the winter months, but during the spring, you really start to see uh, those leaves start to come back into the tree. And by the summertime, you see a full growth tree with plenty of leaves across any forest areas, metro parks, and likely out there just in some forest areas along the roadways. Now we go into fall, that's when you start to see like that change in colors with chlorophyll. And that's when you start to see those fall colors in those reds, yellows, and oranges. And eventually that process repeats with those fall, or with those leaves falling throughout the winter months and likely at least having branches on those leaves and trees as you go throughout the cold, harsh winter months. Now when we talk about later frost freeze, well, when you start to see those freeze conditions, that's when we really start to see a lot of those uh, leaves get affected when only we're talking about fall colors and they are a fall, also falling off the trees. And about 28 days on average, more we've seen that latest first frost. So with that, that could mean that those leaves are staying on the trees longer because we're seeing later and later first frost and warmer conditions, not only throughout the winter months, but also throughout the fall months as well. That's not necessarily a good thing though. Also, emissions from bonfires. This is one of the things we do talk about during the fall month and make sure you are not ever, ever burning leaves. That could lead to hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, monoxide, and also particular matter that is released within the atmosphere. These, all of these components could at least interact with coughing, headaches, and trouble breathing and also eye and nose irritation. So make sure you are never burning those leaves. I know if you have a lot of trees, whether it's in your backyard or front yard, it can really total up across and kind of make a mess across your backyard and front yard. But make sure you are never burning those leaves as that could cause some hazards to our atmosphere. And we talk about those fall leaf impacts. Well, if we do in fact see at least those climate and warming climate impacts, well, we could like to see an earlier leaf drop, which means actually shorter fall colors. So really, when we start to see that peak and likely see that ramp up to peak colors, that actually becomes shorter due to 
you through those warmer, wetter, and likely drier conditions, what really could put some heat stress on those trees. And also, a longer leaf pickup season. It's typically, typically something that deal with right around this time, and as we go further into November, and that's something that we'll definitely have to deal with if that is the case with a warming climate, is having longer leaf pickup seasons due to those leaves likely falling more and more early in the season and likely later in the season. So this is one of the things we like to break down for you on why do leaves actually fall as we go throughout this time of year and also the warmer conditions, even windier conditions can simply just make those leaves fall off the tree. So we appreciate you for tuning in to this week's w 2 11 Weather Impact. And I'm meteorologist Matt Willoughby. We have more and more topics as we go throughout the following weeks. So continue to stay tuned as we go throughout the parts of winter and likely later spring for next year. I'm meteorologist Matt Willoughby. Thanks for watching this week's w 2 11 Weather Impact.